Okay, guys, we'll have got the last war against best of Turkey. Um, that's the best that Turkey can muster up, then I think we're safe to say we can do Turkey. Um, okay, we three starred everything below Town Hall 10. Um, and Town Hall 10s, we two starred them all apart from one and four. Um, so we'll jump in and have a look at some of the, the replays. We'll, we'll not bother with. Uh, Number 15, sorry Eric, but it was a Town Hall 4 base, so I don't think we're going to um, gain much from watching that. So we'll get in at uh, the Hounds replay on number 14. I'm sure what's happening there. So a mass dragon attack in Town Hall 7. Not a lot of finesse to this raid. It's just just melting the entire base. So uh, it is what it is. It's a means to an end to get with three stars. One down in that corner. There you go, I think he only lost probably two dragons in the entire raid. Okay. Okay, we'll check out Lee's raid in the number 13. Good coverage of the golems, taking all the side. Unusual not to see a dragon in the clan castle. I'm sure I can fit one in. Good use of that jump spell there. George is red and they're number 12. Again, plenty of troops in the clan castle, no dragon. I 
sending his queen in late. Not necessarily a bad thing, I'm just saying he's sending his queen in late. Eric's red and then number 11. So you're going to get your peckers trapped in here unless they come back out. Now oh, there we go. Monstered that base. Jackson's go ho red on the number 10. <clears throat> so we spoke about this um, just before the before Jackson went in. Obviously the plan with this one, anybody who's uh, unfamiliar with the go ho red, the, the idea is to uh, come in with two or three golems, wizards behind um, and your heroes and what you'd be looking to do is get down the the arch queen and the clan castle you get those down and you know we know from a previous raid that there's giant bombs here and here so obviously the, the idea is to come into um, this this top corner jump over this area get into into this sort of compartment there you'll draw out the clan castle you get the arch queen she'll jump over so you got um, basically what you need to achieve there and by coming in from this top section you're going to basically remove this top section of base there which means then you can send in your hogs from this side through a, a, a narrow area they'll come in to here and then they'll curl around the base and finish up at this at this corner all the time hopefully being healed so that was the plan so let's see what happens So we've got access to all these compartments now. Hogs going in in two packs. So we're sending in the, the hogs at the same time as the initial sort of kill squad. The, the initial kill squad are providing sort of distractions for a lot of the defences that are over um, in this side of the base. So obviously all, all this stuff now is, is focused on these golems down here. So 
they won't really be paying much attention to the hogs that are coming in from behind. So some would prefer to get the top section of bears sorted first and then send in the hogs, but by doing it kind of simultaneously, you're getting the benefit of the distraction as well. So I'll go read that. Okay. Okay, George is read on the number uh, nine. Was unsure about this red was uh, was George, but we convinced him to to give it a go. And as you'll see, did really well. Nearly three starred this one. So, golems providing distraction. Wizards getting rid of the outer buildings and hopefully some of the inner ones as well. plan was for seven golems in this and I didn't count how many put in then I would imagine seven if not six um, I think there is seven in there yeah so come in we've got rage we've got jump another rage or a freeze A lot easier this raid, because a lot of the times you'll see this base and it's got one of the infernos on single and that can be a pain in the ass, especially when it's the back one. Um, a bit easier on this one with them both on uh, on multi, they don't do quite so much damage to the uh, to the golem, so you see we've got we've got quite a lot of tanking capability left over now. Which uh, everything's targeting and allowing the, uh, the other sort of troops, you know, the Queen and what have you to uh, do a bit more damage. So, Queen's still got full health. Just speed this up a bit. It's just a shame the uh, the arch cream was targeting that wall there, otherwise that was a surefire three star there. She could have easily reached that arch tower, why she decided to hit that wall is beyond me, but there you go. It's 95% cracking effort. Okay, look at Levo's red in there, number eight. I think I'd be more inclined to use this poison on the the Archer Queen when you you get to her really, or uh, whichever way he's going to come in from. I haven't seen this red, but um, you see it's doing only a tiny bit of damage to the to the Hound there. Good access to what he needs to get to with those uh, those jumps like that. It's gonna it's gonna bring them in into the centre. That single you can't tell with half these times with the clan castle near to the the inferno because the name covers the the inferno, but uh, that's a single fireer.
I like that using the the last golems come in at the end. Not sure if he forgot or whether it whether it's by design, but yeah, it's got a full health golem right in the centre there at the last last part of the raid. Close on 50 days. So <laughs> I've not seen this raid. Oof! <laughs> Crikey, right? That was close. And that was it. So, didn't get much closer than that. Good stuff. Get Ben's raid in there, number 7. This is um, pretty much a copy off the raid that one of their guys did on Alex's base um, so it worked out well Bob King's going to be a pain in the arse there now. There we go. So there's your two stars and a few troops left for tidying up. Good stuff. Punish Ren there, number six. So it's the familiar six golem, four jump that we uh, see a lot of. And uh, obviously this this wall here is supposed to uh, cause some problems, but um, obviously the way that Pony is straddling this this wall, and it's going to be the same here with the next wall. It's just having no effect. Is that wall? It's a bit of a daft layout the way this guy's got his base because I mean the way it is from this side the town holds three spaces away from the edge and the same at the back so the queen can hit can reach the the town hall from that side and also from this side but if she comes in from this side or this side she can't do because it's is it four spaces or am I dreaming one two three well it's three spaces from this side, coming from this side which is kind of the natural sort of way you'd, you'd try and get the clan castle out, you're going to be facing two infernos, so you're not going to come in from that way, <laughs> that way, you know if anything you want to sort of arrange for people to be attacking so that they're going to be facing two infernos, so it's a bit arse about this base really but uh, anyway I digress we, uh, we've got the two stars
you know what I'm trying to say is it's it's kind of encouraging people to come in in the easiest the easiest, that easiest direction and the other thing is the arch queens at the back and completely out of it so crazy bass Okay, look at my red on number five. So obviously the hound was going to come this way. I mean, I knew there was a hound in this was raided earlier and not unsuccessfully. So the hound was going to come this way, the arch queen should take care of that, freeze on all of that lot and as soon as that lot wakes up we've got a rage coming in, the king will come in and hopefully get this um, this inferno down pretty quick. Bound to be skelly traps and what have you in the core which we don't need any delaying on, there you go. So there's nothing else really for taking the queen away. So that's down. I think was fifty percent. That's just a bit more for tidying up. Four we struggled on. Um, a number of us hit that base, myself included, and um, didn't quite. Um, quite making. I got the town hall on it, but uh, didn't get the didn't get the uh, percentage. The uh, level forty arch queen here kind of took out my uh, wizards at the start, so I didn't get the percentage on that, which is unfortunate. But uh, to worry. We'll look at Eddie's red and number three. So I think Eddie had this this base in the previous war, and uh, two starred that. When I say had it, he had it to attack in the previous war, and it's just going through into the center. <coughs> so just, we'll just start this again. Um, the so Eddie's taking one. One hog, and I, I had the same the same problem as this in in the raid that I did, where the guy has got a, um, a hound in there, a wizard, and a, an archer or a barb, I think it was. Basically, by sending in one hog, it's not going to stay alive long enough to get all those troops out. Um, you see, we just got the wizard and the the archer, um, which are now going over there. So there's still um, a hound in there, which is exactly the same that problem I had um, which is you know typically what you'd expect to see in there is going to be a hound and a balloon well they're out in you know in a split second um, so I mean this is what I um, kind of run in my clan castle is a, is a hound a wizard and, um, and an archer so maybe something that uh, might want to consider. You know, it just means if you want to do the lure on the clan castle, you're going to have to take two, two hogs. Tunnel's been vaporized. I 
you know, Eddie seems to be struggling more on this base in this war than he did in the last one. And I think going back to the the clan castle because um, because of that extra choice of the the wizard and the archer rather than the the balloon. But we're going to get the the extra extra start fifty percent somehow. <laughs> it's gone. So yeah, we're going to get that now. And there's your your second star. Good job. Alex is red now number two. Again that familiar base. I dare say you could probably get a jump right into the core from that. From that corner. Uh, Alex is attacking facing the Arch Queen and obviously the Clan Castle. You're going to be facing both Infernals, but um, they're set on multi, so not going to cause much problems for your heroes as long as you can get them in. Um, There we go, good stuff. The uh, top base we didn't quite um, make. Well, it's only one star, but uh, we'll have a look at it anyway. Uh, it just reinforces the point of taking a few extra cleanup troops. Um, I'm sure Eddie won't mind using this as an example of to, to take a few extra troops, he pointed it out himself um, but uh, tough base So I mean at this stage we've still got a wizard left. Um but uh you know a couple of minions wouldn't have uh, gone amiss. This uh cannon could probably reach that that wizard pretty quick. There we go. Just trying to think where he could have, yeah, we could have had a couple of minions at this bottom here but when I got the extra star, but uh, just illustrates a couple of minions and can make the difference between another star. So I'm sure, like I say, I'm sure Eddie won't mind us uh, having a look at that one. So yeah, good war, guys. Um, not convinced that the other team weren't uh, cheating there. Um, we look at some of the um, some of the sort of raids they did. All right, these could have been could have been scouting raids. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt on that. But as to do. Um, you know, a three percent, which I think the guy just dropped about five archers and, and left to me. 
that isn't scouting a base, it served no purpose other than kind of tapping the base so that somebody else in their clan who is probably using one of these mod things that you know you can get um, will be able to have a look at that base um, and its entirety with its traps and, and what have you so anyway they were cheating they can go and fuck themselves but uh, there we are so uh, 34 to 30 um, they gave up towards the end because they knew they wouldn't get us so cracking effort as usual guys and we'll catch you on the next one